Yes. were divided by, um, you know, I have the record somewhere. I think uh, in the either 15th or 16th century, uh, one of the um, Christian, uh, you know, they call them fathers, the people who uh, really um, did a lot of work, they divided the verses into verse 1, verse 2, verse 3, and then put them into chapters 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4. And so, while they did a wonderful job in their, um, uh, in the work, and sometimes we, when we read the Bible, like we can see that sometimes the thought that is in chapter, in one chapter, you know, continues to the next uh, chapter, and sometimes we can see that the next chapter will start with therefore. Therefore doesn't mean that, there, therefore, when therefore is, is there, therefore means that uh, there was something before therefore. So you can't just say therefore, because if you're talking to somebody, you say therefore, they'll say, well, you haven't told me anything before, so why are you saying therefore, you know? And so the grammatical uh, balancing of the uh, information means that you should say something before you add it therefore. So in this case, the therefore we are going to use in this way is that in chapter 12, we see that uh, the text is telling us something. But before it told us that uh, there was something that was there before. So uh, and that's why we are using uh, Romans 11.36 and then continuing in chapter 12, 1 and 2, which explains uh, what... Uh, God is requiring of uh, Christians. So we are going to be reading from Romans 11, 36, and then continue Romans 12, 1 and 2. And so let us read. For of God and through him and to him are all things, to whom be glory forever. Amen. His Holy Spirit beseeches us, therefore, Brethren, by the mercies of God, that we present our bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is our reasonable service. And let us not be confirmed to this world, but let us be transformed by the renewing of our mind, that we may be proof that is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. So Romans 11, 36, Romans 12, 1 and 2. Amen. Let us be seated. Thank you.